So let's look at the course outline. We have about 11 topics to study throughout the semester. So today we are going to look at the introduction to entrepreneurial studies, which Mpenya, the course outline. <laughs> yeah, so we are going to look at entrepreneurial studies, which is just an introduction to entrepreneurship. Basically, it's an introduction to how to handle businesses as a sole trader or a company. So that is what we're going to look at today. And the second topic is discovering business opportunities. So in this topic, we are going to be looking up at how we are going to know opportunities in the market or how to know which businesses to start and which ones not to do. The third topic is qualities and characteristics of a successful entrepreneur. So here we are going to be looking at the things you need to have as an entrepreneur or a business person. Zoom mm fake, -hmm. Okay. Uh, the fourth topic is environment of entrepreneurial development. So here we'll be looking at the type of environment which is good and which is bad for business. Then I think for this semester we might stop at, I mean for the first part of the semester we might stop at topic number five, which is challenges and causes of failure in entrepreneurship. That is halfway through the course, line, course outline. Then there is youth and man management developing a feasibility analysis and crafting a business plan. Understanding entrepreneurship, financing the startup enterprise, introduction to capital market, definitions and nature concept of management and of management time management so these are the things we'll be going through i need you guys to be open if you don't understand anything you can ask if you can't ask in class you can always ask me on whatsapp so you need to understand that what you write on the exams is what determines if you pass or fail. I will not be responsible for you guys getting a 20 or a 30, because I am doing my part. So if you don't understand, ask. That makes sense? Yeah. Okay. So we can start with the first part of the course, since we missed last week. Okay, so what is entrepreneurship? According to your understanding, what is entrepreneurship? Get rid. What is entrepreneurship? Something like a small store business, or that one that's in the business. Okay, that could be entrepreneurship. Anyone else? That's one part of entrepreneurship. Guys. Mpenya. What is entrepreneurship? No, 
what is entrepreneurship? Buying and selling, that is also part of entrepreneurship. The good one. Entrepreneurship. Mm. Business. Yeah? Okay, so small businesses that are selling same things, that is part of entrepreneurship, but it is called competitors because they are selling the same things, they are looking for the same customers. So that is competitors who are involved in entrepreneurship. So in general, we can say entrepreneurship is business. It is the buying or and selling of goods or services. So you can either sell goods or services to earn a living. That is entrepreneurship. So when we have defined entrepreneurship, what do you think is the definition of an entrepreneur? Yes, you. An entrepreneur? Yeah. Um, it is someone who is involved in fighting, in carrying out a business at least. Yes, an entrepreneur is a person who is involved in the buying and selling of goods and services. What is the difference between a good and a service? Good is what? Sorry. It's a product, something like that. Like you, I can say you can use it to be done. But then you know, save it, something like that. It's more like a, you cannot use it to be So it's more like a credit or you know, electricity. Yes. Uh, so services, usually businesses, are things you cannot touch, but you feel them. So if you go to the saloon, that is a service. If you, the, the whole thing we use with Airtel and TNM networks, that is also a service. A good is something that you can touch, for example, the books you're using or the pen. That is the difference between a good and a service. Can I borrow your course outline? Okay, so we have talked about entrepreneurship as a business or the buying and selling of goods and services and an entrepreneur is someone who is involved in the buying and selling of goods and services. So the next time, the next kinds of terms that you can meet in this course include partnership. Yes, partnership. So entrepreneurship is not just small businesses as we know. It also involves companies, bigger companies like Airtel, TNM, all those are involved in entrepreneurship. They're trying to make a living, they're trying to make profits. So what is partnership? This line, partnership. Okay. Um, partnership is when two or more people bring the capital to start a business. Yes, two or more people join to start a business. So a partnership can either be a financial partnership 
and sometimes it's just someone else doing something else while the other provides money. So that is a partnership. Two or more parties are involved in a business. They are both looking for the same outcome. That is a partnership. So these are the terms that you will find in entrepreneurship. The next thing that we look at is innovation. What is innovation? The front desk, this one. Sorry, I didn't learn from you. Innovation. Yeah, sure. Yes, that is innovation. You bring out something new that is not present in the market. Or you are doing the same thing as everyone else is doing, but you're adding new features, new features to your products or services. So it makes you different. The whole concept of entrepreneurship means that you have to be innovative. It means you have to know what to do and what not to do, what your competitors are doing and what they're not. That is how you are able to gain competitive advantage. Competitive advantage means that you are better than your competitors. You have a better advantage than your competitors. So that is innovation. So now we are going to look at the role or function of entrepreneurship. So if I may ask, why are you, in, if you were to start a business, why would you do it? Wow. Money. Yeah. Yes, to earn money. What else would you, why else would you start a business? Profits. Profits, equal to money. <laughs> Almost the same thing. Why else would you start a business? Sorry? Going abroad, exploring new markets. So, yes. Why else would you do a business? Backbench. To cooperate with other people, which is partnership. To be famous. So, you just don't call it to be famous, it's brand recognition. So everybody else has started a business because they want to be known or because they want to know, to make more money. They want to earn a living. Why else do people start businesses? Anyone? To survive. In Malawi, yes, we are trying to survive. But yes, there's, uh, there's all that. You start businesses to make profits. You also start businesses for brand recognition. You want people to know about you. You want people to know about your products. Others start businesses for growth. Growth. To grow. They want to start selling one pento marker today and tomorrow they want to sell ten. So growth. And also profit, which is money. The main reason why people are doing businesses is profit. So those are the reasons why people go into entrepreneurship. Why do you think entrepreneurship is important? Let's go line by line. Just one reason why it is important. Okay. 